Okay, today we're doing a video on GOF, Guggenheim Investments. It is a five-star fund on Morningstar. So we've covered four-star already, but this is a five-star GOF, okay? GOF, Guggenheim Strategic Investments. Yes, I'm up 5%. It's not a whole lot for my cost basis. <clears throat> it's not too far away from my cost basis, so I think I'm going to add to it. I have uh, 229 in margin, and I'll, I'll add an extra 1,000 to get it up to an even 30. I like numbers to stay even, as you know. Uh, let's look at our estimated income really fast, just to see where we're at before we buy GOF. 94.7, okay? Now let's buy 1,000 GOF, all right? Oh, before we buy GOF, let me just show you what it is one more time. GOF, Guggenheim Strategic Opportunities Fund, uh, it's, it has a 13.46 dividend. That's 13.46%. That's pretty high. That means that in five years, or less than 10 years, it's paid back completely. Uh, some of the holdings it has in it, it looks like it has bank loans, high-yield corporate loans. So it has bonds, uh, and, but it also has equity as well. It's kind of like RIV. It has a combination of equity um, and bonds. So it has cash and it has treasuries, you know, uh, it has mortgage-backed securities, not too much. If you see only 2% here, which is, you know, uh, reassuring because you don't want to have too much in that sector when rates are rising, although they look cheap now. And let's do a, a, a test on Morningstar. Five-star fund, Guggenheim. Okay, five stars. Uh, what did it make in 10 years? Well, it only has information going back to 2013, but it moved from 10,000 to approximately 25,000 and less than you know, 10 years, that's actually really good once again. So we're going to go add to this fund and we're going to feel good about it because we're not too high above our cost basis and the, the dividend pays for itself. We're at 229,000 margin debt. Let's get it up to 230. Here we go. Trading. It's as easy as this. Go Guggenheim, <coughs> excuse me, buy a thousand. Okay. Uh, buy 61 shares, a thousand. We'll make it 62 even thousand buy 62 go place now let's go check the portfolio and let's see we're up nine thousand now in the day just which is nice but that's not important it's not days gains that are important the, the c's are really outperforming today it's not and let's see go if i added a thousand yep um and uh 230 is now my margin debt 230 but 350 is our value, so we're, we're well within our leverage ratios. We have over 100 for withdrawal. That's what we care about. This number here is, as long as that doesn't go to zero, we're fine. So let's check out our estimated income one more time. See what that brought our income up to from 94.7 to 94.8. So we're just, you know, clawing away, gradually growing our income, but safely. We're using the day's gains up 9,000 to add to our earnings potential because our equity is up 9k if our equity is up 9k i don't mind spending a thousand on gof and gof is is such a high quality name that it's it has low maintenance so for every for every um every thousand dollars i put in a gof which shows here gof okay 30 percent maintenance gof okay Gof, 30%. That means that for every thousand I put into Gof, 700 is still free to to play with and invest. What I did, guys, I hope you liked it. Uh, let's look at performance and value to see what we're doing for the year, up 13.7 versus the market. We're beating it by a handful. So this is what we did to raise our income on a fi using a five-star fund in Gof Guggenheim Strategic Investments. I hope you liked the video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos that will... Um, do we'll cover all the other funds on the portfolio according to their ranking um, i hope that you're invested in passive income like me uh, living off the dividends um, and life is good i just hope that we can all benefit from these ideas together so anyway uh, click like and subscribe have a good day bye bye